Hi guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan here. I am hiding, I'm just up here. Basically, I'm going to do a box opening of the Maximus 3 Extreme. Give you a quick look over the features of the motherboard. Um, and then basically I'll break down, do some testing and come back with some results later. But I just wanted to give you a, uh, a, a good look at the, the motherboard and all the packaging. And then we'll take it out and see what's inside. But basically the Maximus 3 is a P55 chipset. Um, so it supports 1156 CPUs. Um, but obviously with it being a, a Republic of Gamers Asus Specialist motherboard, there's quite a few Gucci features on it. If I flick it over... Oh, I'm trying to get it so you can see. Basically, uh, it's got a Bluetooth add-in card. Uh, it features a go button. Now this is quite clever because what you can do is boot into an operate, your operating system, for argument's sake, Windows 7. You can boot into your operating system and then once you're already in the system you can press that button and it will overclock at a hardware level. So basically it's almost like flicking to a different BIOS while you're already into the, uh, when you're already into the operating system. So for argument's sake you could go from your CPU being, uh, now I'm not sure whether it will do 3 to 4 gigahertz but in theory, you could have a standard 3 GHz CPU. Once you're in your operating system, flick that button and it will instantly go to 4 GHz. Um, obviously, it's all dependent on the settings that you save. Another feature, which is something I've been waiting for to come out for ages, and I think this is brilliant, is the ROG or Republic of Gamers Connect. have got a little button on the I.O. panel at the back. and Basically, you can connect your laptop and overclock at a hardware level, do BIOS flashes, all kinds of stuff, but essentially you can again be in your operating system and use your laptop, once you've put some software on there, you can use your laptop to overclock your motherboard pretty much externally. I do it on the fly, so that's amazing. Now the uh, Maximus 3 has got five PCI Express um, slots which you can put a card in each, but I'll go through those features in a minute. Uh, we'll read out what we've got on the back. Uh, chipset is P55. Um, you can have four RAM sticks up to 16 gigabyte. You can overclock the DDR3 up to 2200 megahertz. Um, it supports Intel Extreme Memory Profile, XMP. The expansion slots. You can have uh, 60 with um, P55 generally. Uh, it only supports one full 16 times lane. But what uh, Asus have done with the Maximus 3 is they've added an NVIDIA NF200 chip. So you can have your standard 16 times lane. You can have two um, lanes running at 16 times for full like SLI or um, Crossfire. You can have two at 16 with an 8x, so you can run three cards. You can have four running at 8 times if you want to run four cards. And you can also run all five slots that it has on the motherboard at 8 times. Now that's because of the NF200 chip adds a lot more lanes. Now what Asus have also done is they've added a PLX chip, which uh, basically what it does is it takes the PCI Express lanes from 1.1, which would be 250 megabytes a second, and it bumps up to PCI Express 2, which is 500 megabits a second. Now this helps with the SATA 6 and the USB 3 because these work on the PCI Express bus. Now, it says it's Windows 7 ready, it's certified for that. Uh, supports SLI and Crossfire. It supports 1156 i7 and i5 CPUs. Now I'm doing all that and you can't see it, but there's um, bits at the bottom. And if we open this up, we get our first look inside at the motherboard. I'll bring it up so you guys can see it better there. But now what I'm going to do is bust it out of the box. Because you don't want to look at the outside any longer. We actually want to start seeing the motherboard.
So there we go. Hold it still there so you can have a look. What I'm going to do in a, in a moment is get the camera off the tripod, put it in macro mode so you can have a good look around. I'm going to take it out of this protective box as well so we can have a proper look. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in macro mode and we're going to go around and have a look. Right, okay, we're in macro mode, so now it is going to be slightly blurry, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around the board and show you close up all the parts, and we'll start at the top and work our way around. Let's see. Right. right, it's going to be slightly blurry now because I'm in macro mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top of the board and work our way round and show you all close up the board and then we'll do another one uh, with it slightly further away. We go into the top right hand corner, we wait for the camera to focus, there we go. Right, we can see the 8 pin power. Now obviously there's not another 8 pin power like on some of the other motherboards but it's only for 1156 socket now we can see nice and close up really lovely and clear the power phases around the outside of the socket you can see the FP cap there um, this is a much better capacitor and helps uh, keep the power flow to the CPU really nice and clean and stable if you come up near the top you can see the RAM slots there and the 24 pin power. That there, I can come in, my camera should focus in. There we go, that's the go button. So you can flick that when you're um, in your operating system to go to an overclock state. There's the Republic of Gamers heatsink. Now, what I wanted to show you was this. That is the PLX chip I spoke about before that helps boost the PCI bandwidth from PCIe 1.1 to PCIe 2. You can see around the side that we've got eight um, SATAs there that actually go on the, the normal P55 chip. And then we've got the extra two which is a J goes on the J-Micron chip. You can see the large heat sink there. Now if we come in let it focus out that's two BIOS chips there so you've got um, BIOS flashback that's a reset switch there actually I do apologise that's the BIOS button there's power and reset there There's one of the Republic of Gamers chips there. We come up, so let's let the camera focus, we'll come up across the five PCI Express lanes and we've gone all the way around the board. There we go then guys, that's our first look at the Asus Maximus 3 Extreme. Keep watching because I'm going to uh, uh, come back with uh, all the results and a conclusion for you about the board. But that is our our first look. So yeah, please do check back for the uh, all the results to see how this board fares. So for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan out. <laughs>